Hey guys, it's Mark here. Uh, just back with a, a really quick tutorial video. Uh, for those of you who don't already know, I, I run a sticker company uh, and I do die cut stickers that are cut to the shape of the design. And a lot of people always ask me about how I add the, the cut lines around the art, outside of the artwork. So in this video, I'm just gonna quickly show you how I do that. So I've got two examples here. One's a, a Reaper artwork that I drew. This is currently a vector in Illustrator. And then for my second example, I'm gonna use a raster, which is uh, an artwork here that's been scanned. So it's been in, done on paper and then scanned and sent to me. Okay, so the, the vector artwork is definitely the easier or the faster one of the two. So uh, for now, just ignore the fact that I've got a gray background as well. That's just so I can see the white on the white background. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to wanna to duplicate the layer that has the artwork. And that's just so I can create the cut line separately without affecting the original artwork. So I'm going to lock the bottom layer with the artworks. So if I drag this across, you can see that there's a second copy of the artwork behind. And I'll just undo that real quick. So what I'm gonna do is use the Pathfinder tool. Um, and if this isn't already open, you just need to go to Window and then hit Pathfinder. And I'm going to click on Unite. Now what that's done is it's taken all of the objects that were in that layer, it's converted them into one, uh, one solid path or shape. Whereas if I look at the other layer, you can see that there were a whole bunch of different paths and objects. So now if I take this artwork and I just invert the color to a stroke, and you can see that we now have a black outline. So if we wanted to, this technically could be the cut line. A lot of the time what people want is uh, if they've got an artwork, they want there to be sort of a buffer around the outside and then they want the, uh, the cut line to be further outside, say a, a centimeter away from the artwork. So the way that I do that is I simply just start bumping up the stroke to a point that I'm actually happy with. Then I'm just going to go object expand, hit OK. Then I'm going to use the Pathfinder again to unite that. Now because there's a space in the middle to make this back into one solid object, I just have to click divide and then unite. Then I'm going to flip it back again. And now you can see we have this uh, added cut line around the outside. And that's, that's pretty much it, that's all you need. So if you're gonna do this and then send it off to a printer, if I were you, I would just give it a, a, a name, the, the layer to be cut line. And that's pretty much all you need. You can send this one straight off to the printers. Okay, so for the second example, I've got this uh, hand-drawn artwork that's been scanned and sent to me as an image. Now the first thing I need to do is get rid of the background. Fortunately for this one, it's, it's really white, so it's really easy. I'm just gonna simply delete the background. And now I'm going to hold down control and click on the layer, the icon next to the layer. And then I'm gonna go over to the paths tab and down the bottom, I'm just gonna click on make work path from selection. And now you can see that it's quite similar to Illustrator. It's actually made a path with all the different anchor points for me. I'm then gonna click on the work path and copy it. And then I'll open up my Illustrator document and I'm actually gonna paste that path in here. And I'll click Compound Path and there you go. So now you can see that we've got the outline. You can't actually see it because it doesn't have a stroke or a fill at the moment. So I'm just gonna give it a pink stroke. There you go. And now if I go back to the document, I'm gonna get rid of this path, don't need it anymore. And go back to the layer and I'm actually just gonna grab the artwork now as well. And back in Illustrator, I'll paste that on a layer underneath so I can see it. And I'm just going to lock that because I don't want to uh, change it at all. So now I'm basically just going to do the exact same thing as I did before. I'm going to add a bit of a buffer to it with a stroke. And then I will expand it again. Then do the same thing as before, divide and then unite and then invert it again. And so now you can see I've got a general idea of, of where the actual cut line could be. Um, because I did this this path in Photoshop, a lot of the time, unfortunately, they're, they're not as smooth or as accurate. So what I would have to do in this case is actually come in and start cleaning up a lot of these points. Um, I'd probably round out a bunch of them as well. 
sometimes you'll find that there's jagged points that get added onto the edge of the artwork as well and uh, a few other little issues like this one here for example so if you imagine this being cut for a sticker a very small blade has to cut along this path so it has to cut then it somehow has to turn around and go back the other way over the top of the other cut line so this one probably wouldn't be that good in fact I would be more likely to just delete some of these points and then round that out for a nice smooth edge and probably do something like that instead and then I'd go over all of the different points to get to the final result and then it's just the same thing as before I'd probably rename it to be cut line just to make it really obvious that you don't want the pink to be printed and send that off to the printers and that should be all they need um, and if any of that was confusing and you did want to get artwork sent off to be honest the printers would probably do this for you I do it for all of my customers anyway so there shouldn't be any issues it's just for those of you who would like to have a crack at it yourself so yeah I hope you found this useful if there's any other artwork tips and tutorials you'd like just let me know in the comments cheers